Hey everyone, so welcome back to the third part of the cPanel tutorial series and this is the third video of this series so and um, if you're a beginner and want to learn more about cPanel I would recommend you to watch the first two videos of this series too especially the second part which covers the file manager and FTP accounts and backups so those are very important components of cPanel so I would recommend you to watch them so to, let's start the third series today and in this video I will show you um, detailed information about the database section how things work so in this database section of cPanel um, the two main components are this PHP my admin and MySQL databases and these two components are my da MySQL database wizard and MySQL FAQ it's basically FAQ and this wizard is um, it's basically um, helps in automate um, you know doing uh, things in a more automated way so but I would teach you about this so MySQL database how to do it just properly and um, you won't really need to use this wizard so Let's start. First option you will you will see here is the PHP My Admin, and what it does is it allows you to view all the tables and rows and um, all the data stored in your existing backups. So if you have a WordPress site, uh, it is you will uh, it will have a database, MySQL database, where all the posts, comments, links, and everything are stored. So I will just click on it and show you how it looks so this will redirect to the php my admin and here you can see here the php my admin interface and on the left sidebar you can see all the existing database in your hosting account and here you will see on the top um, on the top bar you can see here all the options database SQL status export import so you can use this to export import settings and all the other options and here you will see some options about the server how uh, it, it, it is just simple details about your server and um, it is not very important um, probably you won't really need it especially if you are using a shared hosting so this is not very useful so you can see here the PHP version and all the other details so let's get back to the left sidebar again so here you are seeing all the existing database in my hosting account and these all are relate were related to some WordPress some are active and some are inactive so for this tutorial I will show you um, a demo of an uh, inactive database. So by clicking on this plus icon, you can expand it. <coughs> Sorry. So by expanding, you will be able to see all the tables and rows. And you can man also do it like this here. Just click on the main database and um, on the right panel, it will show all the table here. You can see here, it, this is the tables in this database and these are the, the rows so it shows that how many rows are in this table so in the respective tables so by um, you can see here it contains comments metadata this is the comments links options post term meta terms the um, taxonomy relationships user user data so basically this user data contains all the details about the administrative account and anyone you know any user account on your website so for example this is our WordPress database WordPress website database so this contains um, all the your admin credentials and everything is stored here but, um, but I will show you by clicking on it And you can see here the login username admin and this is the user pass this is not stored in plain text and um, this is a hash password so in case your website get hacked you know so to make um, it harder for hackers to get your exact web or password it is not stored in plain text and um, this is a very good security practice which should be followed in all applications and you can see the email ID website name 
and um, user registration date display name so this contains all the important uh, data so for wordpress for example there are two main important components uh, first is the file manager if you want to learn more about it watch the part two of this series video and uh, file manager uh, where all the files are stored like images um, the wordpress configuration everything all the other files are stored there and this database is the second comp which contains all the uh, like your user credentials post links and um, all the things that so by combining this wordpress works so as i have shown you the user user table and now let's uh, i will show you this post so remember this is an inactive database and it's not currently active on the site so this is just for demo purpose and here you can see all the options where the post date the post content see all your website post content is stored here it is not stored in your file manage of files it is stored in the database so and you can see the post title what is the post it if it is published or in draft stage and comment status ping status post name you can see all the info information links all the information of your website wordpress website is stored here so similarly this um, table contains all the relevant information and uh, so and okay let's um, go back to the main and here you will see um, a lot of options like browsing structure search insert empty drop these are all the functions available for this table and um, i would advise you to not um, you know not mess it not check and not do anything unless you know what you are actually doing as it can um, completely crash your website and it will be very hard to recover so don't mess with this database unless you know what exactly you are doing so let's close this and um, you can also use this to take backup if you want you can watch my other video so basically this is the overview of php my admin interface and um, i'll just close this tab and let's go to the uh, now the second most important part um, of the database section is this mysql database this is used to create um, i'll click on it i'll show you this is used to create new database and um, database mysql users so uh, my sql database contains two important parts um, was the database and um, this for your wordpress website so i'm major mainly talking in reference to the wordpress website so mysql user mysql database is um, which contains the table and rows and all the information and mysql user is which has necessary permissions to execute any task so for example if you want to create a wordpress database you just name it here or for any other a cms or any other forum or anything you know name here database name uh, db name and then you create it okay you can see it has been added and then it will show you the current database here and you can see it has i have created it but there is no user connected to it okay so you cannot use the state of base like that okay and now we need to connect a user to it so i'll say um db name user okay and then this we will have to generate a password for it let's okay uh, just for demo um, if you are doing it for any other live site or important just make sure you copy a password in a notepad safe place um, for this tutorial I, will, I don't really I will just delete it after this demo so I am not copying it anywhere and now just click on create user okay so it has been created and now you can um, see here the current users <clears throat> so these are all the users and um, okay so now what you have to do is add user to database so this um, 
okay so this is the user and this is the database we just created then just click on add now you will see this page um, how much privileges uh, how much permissions you want to grant grant this um, um, sorry grant this um, user and this database so um, unless um, it's for a customer for a WordPress um, as basically this channel is mainly about WordPress so for WordPress what you can do is just granted all privileges and um, if you want to learn how to harden website um, WordPress your WordPress setup um, you do not have to grant all the privileges but um, and you can check the WordPress website to know which are the essential um, permissions required for WordPress to function properly but normally you can just grant all these privileges and um, WordPress will be pretty safe and it will work normally so now just click on make changes so you will see this um, success message that um, it has been saved so now let's just go back and now in the current database table you can see here and this database which was not connected to before any user has now been connected to this user so and now it has all the privileges so you can use it with any application so I will just delete it for now go back and okay delete the user too so let's go back to the cPanel main page so and my SQL database wizard as I told you it's just um, a simple way to uh, automated way to do this um, creating database process I'll just click and show you that um, it's just basically the same and um, they, we are, have already shown you how to do it so there's no need to explore this option and my SQL FAQ is basically a FAQ. So for this video, um, uh, I will have covered the database section properly of cPanel. And um, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any queries or feedback, please post in the comments. And um, I would love to know, know your feedback. And I will see you in the next video. So make sure you subscribe and um, do check out the link of the playlist in the description it will contain all the tutorials about cpanel